go. <laughs> Some place I can breathe, fresh air, and where I can be alone. Well, love is a killer, if you know what I mean. Now my heart's encased in stone. But won't you take a look at these hands? See, they all grown up. I become a Because I
Hey, folks. <laughs> Great. Hey, welcome to Radio Motion. My name is Sandy Blumenthal. It's a little taken aback. That's some beautiful stuff. We have Turbo Pop <laughs> in the studio. It's quite a piece you just did. Thank you. Thank nice you, Sandy. Nice arrangement. Yeah. Aaron Dye, welcome. Why don't you introduce the band, your co workers here and yeah so tell us we got, all about turbo pop yeah so uh we got here on the fiddle this is brett mcdowell he's from uh, flint michigan we got back here is sean Reisig. he's from uh, elk rapids and i'm aaron dye i'm from traverse city and uh, uh our bass player couldn't make it today uh his name is jordan muggenberg and he's also from traverse city as well hi jordan hey, wish jordan. you were here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're having fun the bass yes the bass <laughs> you guys have been together for how long now not too long right well, uh, Brett and I started the group back in August uh, 2015, mm -hmm. uh, some point in there, just doing duo stuff. Right, mainly. you guys came in the studio together. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Right. And uh, um, started building up momentum over the, over the winter, just kind of doing a lot of duo stuff, hole-in-the-wall coffee shop stuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, eventually uh, met up with this guy in November, uh, started drumming for us, and then uh, uh, got to our, um, our current arrangement with the bass player in January, some point. Um, I think we've, so what's that like? I think it was mid-January. Mid-January, yeah. Mid-January. Yeah, mid <laughs> so you guys are just getting at it. But boy, you're doing really well. I know you've got a lot of bookings. I see your name all over the place now. Yeah. So yeah people we, must like you. Yeah, you know, it's been it's been a real treat. Uh, uh, a lot of a lot of gigs come to us. Um, people have been asking us to play, which is, which is nice and kind of refreshing. I mean, we play mainly original music. So to have people, you know, really wanting us there to play, right. is, it means a lot. Yeah, it's a tough gig. You get out there and play all original stuff, and it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been tried many times, and, and it's oh, a hard I, it's a hard deal to do. I've, for I've sure. been trying for decades. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't it nice to play your own stuff though? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you yeah. Know, freedom of the arrangement, and even if you mess up a little bit, no one knows because yeah. it's your own. Yeah, yeah. And you can kind of go off on little tangents. Yeah, you here can you make it just another new way to play that song. <laughs> Beautiful. Love the instrumentation. Love the fiddle. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Can't that's get enough sure. fiddles and bands. That's for sure. Yep. Fine job, truth. Brett. Yeah. You, you say the same thing too. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would. Though, as, a, correct? as a fiddle player, of course. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Aaron, I've known you for a while. I've known the Die family for a while. And, yep. And uh, I've been around. I saw you play for the first time, I believe, out at the Hayloft. I think you and and Brett were together out there as a duo the first time. Yep. I may, maybe I saw you as a solo too. You saw me as a solo. I probably. Uh, Jeez, four or five years ago, yeah. I started going out there, and uh, that's when I was in town visiting from Montana. Mm -hmm. I'd come down to the hayloft because that was like one of the that was the place to be on a Thursday night. Oh yeah, still is. It still is, you yeah. know. And uh, um, yeah, I think you had me on the radio, uh, WNMC, sure. and yeah. then uh, um, yeah, but that was that was uh, years before I'd met this this fine. Right, family. that was then. This is now. This is and now. You made a collection. You've got three more. Cats playing with you, so you got a four piece and yep. work ahead and uh, yeah, a lot of festivals this summer too. I see you guys. Yeah, we're pretty playing. excited about it. I mean, we were kind of uh, as far as a band that started in the winter. Uh, we've got a surprising uh, amount of festivals that we're hitting this summer, yeah. uh, mainly just um, out of the blue. But um, uh, Harvest Gathering being one of them, Farm Block being another, um, <clears throat> uh, Res Fest. We just we just got booked. Um, I'm forgetting one now, aren't I? Maybe yeah, I, I have something written down here. Let me see what we got. Farm Block? Yep, Farm yep. Block. Did you say yep. that or did yep. you? You did. Harvest Gathering, Res Fest. Let's go over them all again. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. But I, I see uh, uh, later this month, which is, it's now April. Yeah, yeah, way. right. Wow. <laughs> um, April, April 22nd, uh, you're playing the workshop, right? Yeah. Yes. And the yep. uh, cellar in Elk Rapids? Yep. Oh, we're playing the uh, workshop on 152. Uh, Sorry, 152. Yeah. Okay. The 14th. The 14th. At the workshop. Okay. 14th at the yeah. workshop. Yeah. All right. Cool. Looking forward to that yeah. for sure. Get some the hometown hoedown, you know. Yeah, Turbo Pup. Now, that's another deal here. That's the name that kind of catches people. <laughs> if you Google Turbo Pup, you're going to come up with all kinds of dog food. Yeah, there's so. some, some dog biscuits out there. Yeah. No, um, Turbo Pup is actually a, a nickname a friend of mine gave me back uh, when I lived out in Montana. Um, and uh, it's kind of a sad story. He passed away in a motorcycle accident mm. uh, September 2012. And uh, I'd written a song, a, a couple songs about him, actually. And um, one of them I called Turbo Pup because I know he's kind of one of those guys with a goofy Midwestern accent that had all these one-line, you know, stuff. And um, anyway, so he called me Turbo Pup, and I thought it'd be a great way to kind of remember him is, mm -hmm. is uh, put it into a song and... Um, 
uh, when Brett and I were kind of coming together to figure out a band name, that's pretty much the most challenging thing you can do. We went through hundreds of these. <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, man, we had a whole list. We were throwing darts at them, you know. <laughs> and uh, and Turbo Pup wasn't even on that list because it was the name of a song, actually. Honestly. And um, <clears throat> uh, so what wound up happening is uh, we got so frustrated with it, and Brett fi- finally says, you know, what about Turbo Pup? That's a great name, you know. We should, you know. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if that's a band name. In fact, it had never dawned on me that it could have been a band name. So mm-hmm. we went with it, and that's kind of where we're at so now. So Turbo Pup was born. Turbo Pup was born. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Can yeah. you play another tune for us? Sure you can. Get back into some of your history. Uh, fiddle players always amaze me. No frets on that thing. Yeah. No, no then, frets. And then do, you, you do the vibrato thing. Yeah, Do vibrato. a little vibrato. Do a little oh. vibrato right now. Okay, so you that. can play a note straight with no vibrato. Right. It would sound like this. Or with vibrato would be. That's a tough thing to do. I've tried that, but both hands do the same thing when I do it. They both go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that takes a while. That's, I, I was told by fiddle players that's one of the toughest things to learn. It is one of the toughest things to learn. Okay, I'll let you do it. Oh, okay. I've got the patience. <laughs> <laughs> you play it, Brett. All right. <laughs> and nice to see you, Sean, back there in the drum yeah. kit. He's it's got good to see you too, Sandy. Back there. <laughs> Love the stuff, love the stuff. Well, you got, you got like uh, meters on the front of your, like a soundboard meters on the front of your drum. It's like an there. equalizer. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what the word I was looking for. They don't move, though. It's got a lot of bass, though. I, I wish they did move, but they don't, unfortunately. Yeah, kick it, kick it harder, they'll move. Yeah, yeah. bass. Just play louder and they'll probably move. <laughs> okay. So that was a tune called The Hammer Cometh. Yep. Written by you, Aaron, yep. correct? Yep, yep. I wrote that song uh, four or five years ago now. Now tell us about Robot Soul. Ooh, Robot Soul. So I actually, this is kind of a newer one of mine. Um, uh, maybe ended last year. I think I put this one together. And uh, uh, Brett and I like to have these like you know conversations about uh, you know uh, sci-fi kind of future type of stuff. You know what's going to mm-hmm. happen. And um, so uh, the concept of this song is kind of like um, it's artificial intelligence. The day artifi- artificial intelligence is born is within some dude's laptop computer when he like logs in, and because the, some random algorithm is created that he it spawns this conscious life, right? Okay, and, uh, I got you so far. I'm gonna write this, <laughs> so I'm gonna far, write this down. Up? Wait a yeah, it gets kind of. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if any, I don't think any of this is actually possible, but it's still a great idea. Yeah, sing um, about it. Heck so yeah. so, anyways, this computer. It's it's uh, conscious, but it's a laptop computer. It doesn't it can't talk to you. It doesn't move around. You know, it's got to wait for you to do all this stuff. So it's searching the entire internet to like figure out how to communicate and how to like you know do all this other stuff. Now the here here's the deal though is that when it's artificial intelligence, it has consciousness just like ours. It needs somebody to care for it. It needs somebody to love it, and it, it feels these emotions and all this mm. other stuff. So. It's battling with those internal things while trying to be heard by its operator or creator, you know. And uh, so, anyways, that's what this song is about. It's called Robot Soul because he's got soul. Oh, okay. Right? I got a pet rock that kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's okay. like they Sandy comes attention. home, he puts his keys down, yep. and then one day it's just alive and awake. Right. You go but over and <laughs> pet the rock. Get back. All right. Tell us all about Robot Soul. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's try to start this one off. We. All right. You remember how this one goes?
Tune. Yeah, it's a, it wakes up. It has to if it it wants to be in love. You know all the same things that we need. You know, uh, it'd be interesting. I, I know that uh, Stephen Hawking and uh, um, and others have have warned us of artificial intelligence. You know, so it, it is this kind of a scary thing, but it might not hurt to have a good outlook every once in a while. Well, beware, <laughs> folks. Beware, folks. Beware. There we Watch go. Out. These arrangements that you do. Yeah, you, know, you all collaborated in those, I'm sure, during your oh, practices. Definitely. I mean, these these are pretty involved. It's not your simple two and three chord folk song like you hear a lot of right. people still doing these days. Well, <clears throat> you know, it's it's kind of I I had this like personal discovery of of what music is about and and how it's you know it's all it's all about the rhythm you know um and you can you can still dance to stuff that isn't quite in four four mm -hmm. you know but feels like four four. Um, I played in this. Uh, uh, Kind of a, uh, I used to play bass for a West African trio, power trio. Oh, and, yeah, there's um, some rhythms there. Oh, yeah. man, we had some intense uh, practices, uh, tw you know, uh, and and working on um, Sorsene, Corda Juga, um, some other West African rhythms, there's hundreds of them, um, but learning them to the T and then applying that to the, your instrument, right? And, and how these all function together, they're really cool, kind of cyclical, they work with threes and... You know, it's really wild stuff. There's actually more than one rhythm happening at once. And um, so uh, kind of reaching an understanding with this, I'm no expert <laughs> by any means, but I kind of hit, hit an understanding uh, with that, that rhythms you can kind of push around and make, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, you know, um, get out of the normal uh, routine of the four chord, you know, four chord change. Here it comes, type of deal. Right. You get that pull with the with the robot soul. You know, there's a little bit of that, and uh, in a couple other of our tunes, you know, I think it spices up, uh, spices it up, and adds a different dimension to oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's you know? definitely so. Put some tension in the music too. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, it pulls you, think, you around so, a little yeah, bit. You think something's going to change? <laughs> no, it's not. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's Might very have to cool. Wait. <laughs> very neat stuff. So yeah. very thoughtful. Yeah, thanks. Thoughtful music. Yeah, Turbo that's pop. that's that's what we're you know we're trying to, um, we want to be a hardworking band. We are mm -hmm. a hardworking band. Um, we want people to 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 notice that. Um, and that that's the product is this refined music. So we do put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, I can see that for sure. So. You guys must practice a lot too because you're playing quite well together. <laughs> yeah, we do. For, yeah. for just being together for as short a time as you have been. Yeah, we're in this in this proximity a lot during uh -huh. the week. You know, yeah. so. 
hours and hours. <laughs> well, it shows. Keep up the good work, man. Yeah, thanks. Very cool. Someday maybe to go on the road full time and be rock stars or Boy, folk that stars be nice? or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully. Okay. You play us another tune here, I know, huh? Yeah. Brett, now, you, you do, uh, folks, these guys do all their own tunes. Uh, they do do covers, too, but they're not going to do it today because their stuff's way cooler than covers. <laughs> <you know? laughs> oh, thanks, Eddie. Yeah, I, I believe it. Yep. Do so, do covers. Um, <laughs> What's that? Do do covers. Do -do, you do twist the covers up, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twisted covers. I yeah. like those, too. <laughs> Quit twisting the covers. All aboard. All aboard. Yeah. This is a song you wrote, right, this Brett? Yeah, it is, yeah. And what's this all about? Uh, this is obvious? about uh, getting on a train. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I kind of fancied always saying all aboard because you always hear the conductor call it when you're... All aboard. Yeah, getting yeah. on and off at stops. So I wanted to try and incorporate that into a song. And, cool. Uh, yeah, wrote this You got tour. her. All right. It's in the title and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Turbo Pop. <laughs>
this train. Cool. <laughs> the train's coming into the station. <laughs> Love that. Nicely done. I can see that being played on a club car on the Denver Zephyr going out west or something. I've played it a few times on the old Have California you? Zephyr, yeah. Good for you. So you've, you've taken that train cross country? Yeah, I actually got to play that song with a conductor. No way. On the train. Wow. Here, I thought I was so smart and you've already done it. <laughs> yeah, some, uh, there was a conductor. Somehow he managed to get a guitar and I was riding out to California. Yeah, you had your fiddle? Had my fiddle and uh, we ended up playing tunes for quite a few hours actually. Nice. Through the Rocky Mountains and... I always thought Denver that'd be tunes. the coolest thing to get a gig for the year, traveling, yeah. you know, riding back and forth across the country, playing on the train. Yeah, yeah. I like taking the Amtrak. It's good, good times. Oh, yeah. I used to take that when I was a, a young child with my folks out west. I loved taking the train, Vista cars and watching the country roll by. Oh, it's beautiful. Nothing like it. Sean, stuck back there, there in the drum kit. I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah. I can't get out. Do you out feel either. left out or what? <laughs> no, I'm cool. No, you're cool. You're cool with that. You're used to it, huh? Yeah, I've got a really comfortable throne that I'm sitting on. It's got a backrest and everything. It's yeah, really it's soft a, on my bum. <laughs> yeah, you got a got a beautiful curtain behind you too. Yeah. Oh, it's Frame. royal blue. It's nice. <laughs> Frame quite well. Sean, huh? you've been playing for a while. Yeah, I've been playing drums for about 20 years. Just started, you know, uh, when I was just a kid. My mom was telling me the story that I'd like drag all the pots and pans out from under the cupboard and just use wooden spoons mm -hmm. and play. But uh, my parents are amazing people and they have put up with, I have an older brother who plays drums as well. And for years and years and years, they just put up with us learning how to play drums oh. in the basement. Every door between the drum set and where they were at, were, it was shut in the house. Yeah. It still didn't matter. You know? Yeah, it always <laughs> so comes loud. through. So I, I give props to any parents out there that allow their kids to learn drums. Because yes. it takes a long time, but I think it pays off because they get a lot of... Um, gratification watching us perform and play now so super cool it's a cool thing it's not an easy thing to do that's for sure playing yeah. drums is you gotta use I, all your limbs yeah i've sat down behind all that stuff yeah that's weird every time i want to feel really stupid i get behind one of those kits for a while <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. humbling indeed yeah yeah very humbling yep Right. Turbo Pup, you sing any songs about dogs? This is a segue, you know. <laughs> oh. So it's kind of funny smooth. you say that. Yes, uh, this this song actually has nothing to do with dogs, but it's named after a very popular breed of dog mm -hmm. called uh, Golden Retriever. I think you say Schnauzer. Schnauzer, <laughs> Punk or whatever. Um, no, uh, Golden Retriever. Um, there's uh, it's a kind of a. a Golden Retriever is a line that sort of rhymes with a, a lot of parts in this song. I, I guess. see. And, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have the weirdest time naming the songs, you know? It's like, name it a band's hard, like name a song. Right. Uh, but um, anyways, yeah, this one is like super rhythmical, um, and it's it might kind of uh, relate with some folks out there today that are uh, hoping some people wake up and uh, kind of... Um, Instead of going immediately with the status quo, maybe take a step back and think about it for a second and, uh, and how it affects you and other people. And uh, maybe not try to be so vicious towards each other right now and again. It's, oh, yeah. it's kind of a nice thing to think about. Um, I don't really know what I'm uh, writing music for or a purpose, but uh, I would say that you know, if it's anything, it'd be um, you know, putting my two cents into, uh, into a peaceful future and and uh, understanding each other a little bit better, I think would be a better step in the right direction. Um, uh, but yeah, so anyways, this song, yeah, Golden Retriever. So wake up and smell the dog. Then. Wake up and smell the puppy. All right. <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> Take that. 
back things he said About all of the voices in his head Everybody already told ya Take a step back Think for yourself Now honey You never know Could be good for your health So don't ya Take your own stance Give yourself a chance To be a loving receiver Well it's okay Good boy, good boy, right? <laughs> good boy, good boy. Yeah, I like that song. That's very hot, cool. You know? <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you, Sandy. Thanks for Come coming on. in. It's Man, a lot of fun. of fun. Really fun show. Blast. Best yeah. of Turbo Pup. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you out there at the on the tourist on the tourist on the uh, <laughs> on the festival tour. Yeah. We'll see you. Come check us out if you see the name. You know, take a chance. Come check us out. Yep. And your website. Tell everybody. Uh, www.turbopupband.com You gotta put band in there Otherwise you're gonna get a whole bunch of dog food ads dog Be food. careful Some other stuff Yeah, exactly yeah. The other stuff <laughs> other You stuff. didn't hear it here so. The other stuff <laughs> Right <laughs> It's amazing how stuff gets twisted on the internet, isn't it? It's oh, true, yeah. there's so much so much out there Yeah Well again, thanks again And uh, looking forward to seeing you soon Which I know I will Because you're out there playing You're everywhere Oh you're yeah everywhere. Uh, By the way, before we sign off here Do you have any records out? Anything recorded yet? Or we you're... don't have anything recorded yet But we are working on an EP It's in the works Okay So working on the final mixes Touching yep. it up yep. Well bring it right to the radio station We'll start spinning it So. Oh you, you betcha Alright, we'll we're do. on it We're on All it right. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to Radio Motion today And uh, we had a great time today My name is Sandy Blumenfeld, by the way I'm sure you knew that and I'd also like to thank our producer and director, Michael Toms, and our audio technicians, experts, they are Bob Chauvin and Torin Lohman. Thanks for coming in and doing all the work here. These, so these shows sound pretty darn good, sound I think. Pretty good. So. Thank you. You guys have a good evening out there, and hope to see you next time on Radio Motion.